All right, today's prompt is survival kit. For me, this, I guess, would be more of an urban kit. This is another one of the problems that I didn't immediately have an idea about until I started thinking about what it takes for me to... What situation am I in that I consider survival? Uh, I rarely am in a situation where I am camping uh, camping or out in the woods or anything like that. So survival in terms of bushcraft gear or first aid kits is not really something I thought would be of any worthwhile trying to show you guys. However, I do have a survival kit, I guess you would call. It's my backup of all the things that I need if I was stranded, like in an airport or at work or traveling. And then furthermore, I would say that this is also a survival kit. And I'll get into that one in a minute. But this, I labeled it because it is a survival kit. I just didn't think about it until this prompt. But I have backup headphones. Backup cord for my phone to charge. Q-tips. Backup charger for my watch. Backup brick for my phone. Alcohol wipes in case I have to clean something. The cable for the watch charger. Earplugs, because I'm in a very loud environment at work. A set of uh, eyeglass screwdrivers. Nail clippers. 12 volt connector for a car. Tweezers. These are very nice sharp point tweezers. I really like them. And a flashlight. So that is the stuff I carry with me as a survival kit. It goes in my backpack. I have traveled. This is something I've assembled over the years. I've always um, added to it. For instance, when I started working at my current job, I added the flashlight and uh, ear, uh, ear protection. Uh, when I was in college, this used to be just a brick and the nail clippers. Um, so over the years, I've added more and more as I've been in a situation where, oh man, I just wish I had that one thing. And so this kit is a representation of several years of just needing to have something in my backpack that was a little kit of necessities that would get me out of a jam, or just something uncomfortable. Similarly, similarly, I have this. And I label it, so I try to do my absolute best to keep everything in here that I would need to do what I call design work. It's really just the work I do when I write my ideas and notes in my notebook about things to make. So I've got fine point pens, rubber bands, mechanical pencils, paint markers, high quality eraser, Sharpie highlighter, black Sharpie, red Sharpie, pink pen because nobody ever wants to steal this, and another rubber band. These are the things that I have accumulated over the years also because of, um, I do lots and lots of paperwork. That's kind of always been my job, whether it was my engineering job before this one or the job that I have now. I've always needed a way to deal with physical paperwork. I don't know why. That just seems to be the way that things have, have gone for the jobs that I've had. And in addition, I like to draw. I'm not very good at it, but it is therapeutic. And when I get 15 minutes to myself that I'm at lunch or waiting for something or at home or actually I'm sitting down to do design work for the shop, this is where everything lives that I need to do that to my satisfaction. So these live in my backpack. They go everywhere that I go, not just work, not just, uh, you know, around town, but this is also what I travel with. Um, I do everything I can to keep these things airplane safe. 
Uh, if I add something that's not temporarily, I do my best to remember to take it out of there. And then typically when I travel, all that ends up being added to this is like a toothbrush, deodorant, toothpaste, maybe floss. But this is it. These are, to me, what is streamlined a safety net of things. So I hope you enjoyed watching. See you next time.